Hello guys, today I want to show you how to make a nice satin ribbon bow for all your gift giving, especially for the holidays you'll be needing some nice ribbon, something to tie your bow with, I have a wire and of course a nice pair of scissors that you're going to be cutting through the layers of your ribbon to create your nice bow that you could use for Christmas packages, any kind of gifts or pew bows for weddings or anything that has to do with decorating with a bow. First we're going to start with the ribbon. We're just going to go in circles looping it around. I'm making it small so you can see it on camera. And you're just going to wrap it around uh, at least six to eight times depending on how large and how fun you want the bow to be. I've already done that for you. Here we have, I think I have like six turns around here. So we're going to start, we're going to keep the loose ends at the bottom as you can see in the center. We're going to bring these together as such. What I like to do is fold it in half. Not pinching it or anything, but only here at the bottoms so we're going to be pinching it. And then we're going to take our scissors, they do have to be sharp. We're going to cut little diagonals in the corners here as such. So you'll get this effect. Okay. Then we're going to take our wire and we're just going to tie it around the center. This you can make the wire you can make as long as you want. If you want it for pew bowls you would have a very long piece. For me, I'm just going to use a little piece today just to show you how to do this. So, I'm going to do that. Cut the wire. Here's where you would want to pinch the center. Really nice and tight as you can see. It's really scrunched up. And we're going to tie this really good. As you can see. Now, I'm going to open this up. And you're going to start from the center and you're going to start pulling out your loops. And you're going to grab it, pull on it, and turn. You can try to break that little crease that's in the middle here, loosen up the ends. Then you're just going to keep doing the same thing with all your bows. Pulling out and twisting from the center, pulling out and twisting, pulling out and twisting. You repeat this through all the loops, pulling out from the center and twisting, and like so. Now I love making these bows, I love to put them on everything. You can make little bows like this for children's gift packages, baby showers. Personally, for bridal showers, I like to take these bows and put flowers in the center of them. As such, I would take a nice flower and put it here, some pearls, some ribbons on all my gifts that I make. So that way, at the end of the shower, not only do you have a whole bunch of your bows made for the packages, but then you take these. All, let's say you have five of these bows with the nice flowers in it, and you put them all together. And you make a fake wedding bouquet for the bride-to-be along with... You know, usually we have um, the bridal veil on the bride. So we just make a nice little bouquet out of these at the end of the party, which you can keep as a souvenir as well. So here's our bow. Very nice. Ready to decorate with anything. These are plain right now, but like I said, you can, you can hot glue little souvenirs on them, like little baby bottles, little flowers. You can insert flowers. You can put uh, little floral picks in here and you can also take more of the ribbon and just take it to the back okay in the back and just stick it in the middle and also pinch that in there Twist that around a little bit. And now you have little dangles, which you can 
like I said, pupils, gift packages for Christmas decoration on your garlands to decorate your stairwell. Make a whole bunch of these in red and just decorate your, um, your Christmas tree with them. It comes out very nice. And here I'm going to be, I folded the ends. I'm cutting it like this to get this effect on my bow, as you can see. Or you can just cut them across diagonally. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I hope you send me feedback. And uh, if you can, send me pictures or just tell me you're making some and let me know how uh, my little lesson worked out for you. I hope you enjoy it and make a lot of bows for all your fun festivals. Take care. Thank you.